excited and it feels so good. I'm breaking the horror content up with this because I didn't get a chance to talk about it over the weekend when this news came out. I've had multiple uh, subscribers comment on videos, hey, Javicia Leslie's coming back one more time. Ah, uh, I was a little frustrated, Batwoman. As a villain though in The Flash, season nine, and I haven't watched an episode of The Flash since I think season three or four. But we're gonna talk about this article just because. That's just a car. <laughs> Batwoman was such an integral part of the growth of the channel here. Uh, Grant Gustin's The Flash might be coming to an end in season nine, but it seems that the Arrow versus longest running series will pull out all the stops in order to give a satisfying ending to diehard fans. You know, this show is well, well past its born on date and the writing really reflected that. And that's why I quit watching it. It got so wonky that it, it was it was impossible to watch. And I know what you're thinking, but you watched Batwoman. I, I know, but I watched Batwoman on a bet and I was beholden to that. The Flash, which I like the character, I couldn't sit there and just watch it go to shite like I did. And I often and still wonder why Grant Gustin was never, you know, called up to the bigs, as it were, and portrayed the Flash in the movie. I, and I, under, I understand why. Because they don't want the stigma of a CW actor in the cinematic universe. But if you really look at how the character was portrayed between Ezra Miller and Grant Gustin, I mean, it's night and day apples and oranges. So if you're really going to sit there and say Grant Gustin was in the CW, he shouldn't, you know, be in the movies. Why was Ezra Miller cast in the first place? It was a horrible pick from The Flash from the word go. And I didn't want to get off on a side tangent here, but it's Javicia Leslie coming in. Scissor me timber. To this show as the Red Death. So... The upcoming season is expected to wrap up several story arcs for the titular speedster, such as revolving Killer Frost's cliffhanger and addressing the Cobalt Blue villain tease at the end of Season 8. While it seems plausible that Cobalt Blue will become Season 9's main villain, it appears that more unexpected foes will arrive, like Captain Boomerang, to pose a threat to Team Flash in the final season. And now, a dangerous new adversary that already has established connections to the Arrowverse is confirmed and to debut in the Flash's final season. The Red Death arrives in the Flash Season 9. Dun dun dun! Javicia Leslie, Batwoman... THE LESBIAN! <laughs> Canada Graphs shared its set photos from Flash Season 9, revealing that Batwoman star Javicia Leslie is returning to the Arrowverse to portray Red Death, a DC Comics villain who is a mashup between Batman and The Flash. And here's the tweet from the DC Syndicate right here. Yeah, uh, Javicia Leslie is going to play a villain, which, if you really think about it, her character in Batwoman pretty much was a villain. She was a narcissistic cow who thought everything revolved around her and she never once did anything for the city of Gotham. Everything she did was in service of her and her wants and needs. And see, see where I'm going with this? It's a natural progression for her character, even though it's a different character. A closer look at the photos teased an intense confrontation between Leslie's Red Death and Grant Gustin's Flash. I love how they, of course, He's kneeling. That like really annoyed me. Why, why, why would he not be kneeling to her? Yes, Queen Slay. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? It's it's sad that in this picture she looks bigger than him. I guess that is just pathetic. Like it's funny. It's funny. I I I like Grant Gustin, but that's that's just funny. Cause I'm not really familiar with this character, the Red Death. Uh, in DC Comics, Red Death is a member of the Dark Knights, a group of alternate multiversal versions of Batman, led by the Batman who laughs. This alternate version of Bruce Wayne was traumatized by the death of his various Robins, which led him to harness the Speed Force to upgrade his way of crime fighting. Yeah, see, I never got that deep into the comics. Uh, Bruce then absorbed the powers of Earth-52's Flash by combining his Batmobile and the Cosmic Treadmill thus deciding to suit up as the Red Death. In the Arrowverse, Red Death was previously name-dropped in a future set Season 5 episode of The Flash when Central City Captain David Singh mentioned, 
Cicada killed more people than Zoom or even the Red Death. The Red Death's appearance in The Flash Season 9 marks its first live action debut. Why Red Death's arrival in The Flash is important. Uh, so they can bring Javicia Leslie and her dump truck ass back? I don't know. I mean, so we can have some more. Yeah, scissor me, Allison. Janet, you're crazy. That's the only reason I can think of, honestly, is they're going to turn Killer Frost into a lesbian? I, I don't know. The lesbian! <laughs> In the comics, the Red Death's arrival presents an emotional battle between an alternate Bruce Wayne and a confused Barry Allen, considering that the pair are close allies in the Justice League. In the Arrowverse, though, the emotional impact of seeing Javicia Leslie as Red Death against Grant Gustin's Barry Allen is far less, mainly because they still haven't officially met on screen. Although Batwoman was featured in Season 8's Armageddon crossover, Barry was seen as the reverse Flash by Batwoman and the others in that alternate timeline, so that didn't count. And I can't remember if... No, I think he had, he had interactions with the Ruby Rose iteration of Batwoman, back in the 2019 crossover which i can't remember even what that one was because i watched one episode of it and saw um batwoman kill kevin conroy's uh kingdom come batman i think it was he was kingdom come and yeah it, it, or something like that it was just <laughs> She kicks him once. Like, he throws uh, Supergirl across the room. Rubio's kicks him. He gets electrocuted and dies. He was like, you were always the Batman of tomorrow. <laughs> the Bat of tomorrow and dies. It was just, it was, it was fucking hilarious. Seeing an established Arrowverse hero become a villain in Season 9 is set to be heartbreaking for Team Flash. Despite that, there's a strong chance that his version of Ryan Wilder is from a different Earth, meaning that this could be the first solid indication that Multiverse is finally back in play in The Flash after being sidelined due to the crisis on Infinite Earth's crossover event. Maybe that was it. Realizing that the Multiverse is still present allows Barry and the rest of the team to further explore alternate realities to find possible solutions on how to defeat Red Death. This also gives them an opportunity to uncover different Earths, such as the worlds of Stargirl, Titans, and Superman and Lois. Moreover, with Leslie returning, it also presents a prime opportunity to bring her back as Batwoman for a proper crossover. Who knows? Earth Prime's Ryan Wilder could be the key in defeating the Red Death once and for all. There ain't no fluff here! I can't see Javicia Leslie's Batwoman being the key to defeating anything other than good ratings. I mean, her iteration of Batwoman was so bad. So bad. On every level. I mean, literally the CW, when they hired her, they put out a, it was a box checking, quota filling job posting. Like down to the letter of, of this, you know, forced inclusion and diversity. So it was, it was hilarious. Uh, how badly, and it was written so bad, and it's not Javicia Leslie's fault, I'm not blaming the actress. It was, she was what they wanted, she checked the right boxes, she took the role, and then Caroline Dries and the idiots that wrote the show just massacred everything about this really good, really fun, well-established character, not on the CW in the comics. And... This is going to be hilarious. I might actually have to watch this and review it just so I have some more Batwoman fodder for you guys. Let me know in the comments if that's something you want. If today's the day I've earned it, subscribe to the channel. You can join as a channel member. Two tiers available, Harvey Wakuian and Kazooian tier. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your support. Do all the YouTube things. I'm Etep Wakuian of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day. Plus, tomorrow, and I'll catch you on the next one. It's better to burn out than to fade away.